Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about something that most people do not talk about anymore. Mainly, many, many preachers, you go to many churches, especially the liberal ones, they don't want to talk about sin, they want to talk about hell. This video is about hell. Something that most people don't want to hear about, which is okay, I understand. But you have to realize something. And you should watch my video about how to be saved and after you watch this. I hope you do. But the thing is, though, according to this book, the Bible, everyone deserves to go to hell. It doesn't matter who you are or what you do. You could, be, for example, I'll use an example. You could be the worst person to ever live. You could murder, rob, rape, do all that nasty stuff. If you get saved, your sins are washed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ and you go to heaven. And it doesn't matter how good you are. You could be a sweet person, you know, feed people, help the homeless, and all this stuff. But according to God, your best is as filthy rags. If you're not saved... If you haven't accepted Jesus Christ, He's sacrificed on the cross, you haven't accepted Him, He paid for your sins, you're going to hell. And the Bible's pretty clear, you know, you can read through it, Jesus talks about hell pretty, quite a bit. Most people try to tell you Jesus is all lovey-dovey, a hippie, and all this stuff. Uh, he was a liberal, he is no, he's not a liberal and he wasn't a conservative. He would not like either of those parties if he was alive today. He would, well, he is alive today, but you know what I mean, in human form. He's God in flesh, so obviously you know what I mean. But he isn't a hippie. He's always talking about sin. One of the things that make him say, well, he, he loved the sinners. He, the Bible's clear throughout the whole book that God hates sinners, that God hates sin. And if you're not saved, God isn't your ally. He's not your friend. It tells you this. Uh, read, read James 4.4 4 and Amos 3.3. 3. Think about it. James 4.4. 4. Read it. If you don't believe me, it's pretty clear. They'll say, well, how about that prostitute? Well, I'm sorry, that woman caught, caught in adultery. You know, they brought him, her before Jesus. And then Jesus writes in, you know, in the sand, who, <clears throat> without sin, cast the first stone. Because they were going to stone her to death, which is Jewish law. But they don't, but these people don't tell you is they broke Jewish law. The person she committed adultery with should have also have been stoned. That's what he's getting at when he says, Who's without sin? Cast the first stone. He's writing in the sand. What do you think he was most likely writing? Because <clears throat> they have commit, they broke Jewish law by not bringing the guy that she was committing adultery with. And then they tell you, you know what, uh, they say to give and all this stuff. Yeah, you give into the church, you give into the synagogue. And then it's for later on when Paul is telling you this stuff. It's give, Christian giving. Christians helping other Christians. It's not helping people who aren't saved. I mean, yeah, you should help them. I'm not saying you shouldn't. You should. You're supposed to. But it's not. no one's being forced to give. No one's being forced. They may mention the two people that were, you know, they lied to the Holy Spirit and they were killed by how much they got. Uh, they obviously, those two most likely never went to hell. But the Bible's pretty clear about heaven and hell. It's very clear. Jesus tells you how to avoid hell. You have to believe on him. Otherwise, you go to hell. The lake of fire in Revelations. Read it. I shouldn't have to go through. I mean, your preacher should be going through all this stuff. I mean, I'm obviously not going to make it so horrible that you're going to get saved. I'm not a preacher. I'm not that good of an orator or anything like that. I'm just some body, you know, telling you, you know, you need to get saved. You know, you read, read Ray Comfort, you know, I mean, everyone's a sinner. Your best works, no matter how good you think you are, to God is just filthy rags. And if you don't get saved, you're going straight to hell. No matter what, how good you are, it doesn't matter how many lives you save, it doesn't matter how many people you fed, how many people you helped, how many children you helped, and even children go to hell. You may say, what? Have you read the book? It's pretty clear. You remember, um, I don't remember the guy's name, but you remember he's, when after Jericho, he takes a lot of gold and stuff for himself, hides it underneath his tent, and then of course they lose their next battle. And, you know, certain things start happening to him, you know. And they find out it was him. And it tells you, he and his whole family, his little ones. Who do you think the little ones are? His children. They all went to hell. It doesn't matter. No one's innocent. Babies are not innocent. 
So everybody, you know, they'll say, well, you know, all about, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah and, you know, God will save, will save you know, even 10 people. Well, you say, well, the people that'll say, well, what about the babies? This Bible tells you very clearly, very, very clearly, that none of us are perfect in the sight of God. We're all sinners, even the babies. I'll read one of my pamphlets later on in another little playlist that I'm doing, and I'll show you exactly where, where, where this guy, other guy is going to tell you, you know, about babies. You know, they sometimes they'll cry just so they be held, but they are pretending that they have a problem just so you get to them. They're basically lying. No matter how good you think you are, you're going to go to hell if you don't get saved. If you don't accept Jesus Christ in your heart, you don't accept His sacrifice on the cross, you don't believe that He rose from the grave three days later, you're going to hell, according to this book. So you need to make sure that you get saved. If you don't get saved, well, according to this Bible, you're going to hell. I mean, I can't do nothing about that, you know. It's not going to be pleasant. It's a lake of fire, torment, and everything. You know, the rich man in hell, that pretty much tells you, you know, you'll be in flames. You're going to be tormented night and day. No ends. You'll be able to see into heaven and see people enjoying themselves. Well, hope you watch my other videos. I don't know much more to say. I mean, I could say a lot, but, you know, make sure you get saved. Watch my video on salvation. Watch my, any of my other videos, too. Please like, subscribe. Please leave a comment. Thanks. And you know, you liberals, liberal churches, you really need to get on the ball and start preaching about sin and preaching about hell. You know, otherwise, you guys are going to be in hell. And there's going to be a lot of liberals in hell. And conservatives, too, because a lot of these conservatives aren't that much better. They seem to, you know, be a bit greedy. So, you know, it is what it is.